Hello, my name is Herbie the Hill, and I am a friendly hill from the North Pole who wishes he was a dentist. The other elves can be mean to me for this, and they call me a misfit elf. But that's okay, because I am happy being. Ha 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 ha! I was just kidding, my actually a sissy gay faggot! Did you really think that sappy bullshit I said before was true? Well, you must be the dumbest fucker bird there ever was! I will now properly introduce myself and say that my name is Herbie the Elf and I'm a really hardcore sissy faggot boy! I dress like a sissy femboy elf and I prance around all day making sex toys! The other elves, including my boss the elf for them, get really pissed off when I do this because we are supposed to be making toys for little boys and girls but I only make sex toys that are meant for little boys and grown men! I often get scolded for this and the other male elves will spank my mum mum for this as punishment because corporal punishment is very common in the North Pole, but little do they know, getting spanked makes my North Pole grow. Ha 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 ha, I made a funny, there are female elves in the workshop who think I'm a sexist piece of shit because the toys I make are only for men and little boys, but I actually have a medical condition called female faggot dysentery where I cannot interact, do things for, or touch women without feeling very sick and getting potentially life-threatening symptoms. But they're all social justice warriors anyway, so their opinions don't keep better. I actually do want to be a dentist at the side, but because I'm gay, I aspire to be a different kind of dentist. A dentist who fills candies with cum and whitens teeth, with cum and replaces broken teeth with chippy stones and flosses teeth, with pubic hairs and cleans out people's mouths by pissing in the mouths, mixing it with fluoride and making them spit it out into my asshole. Faggot dentistry is a dying occupation and I aspire to revive it and continue delivering its slow benefits. Many gay faggots, when they make me like to ask what Santa Claus's holly jolly candy cane looks, feels, smells and tastes like, but I can't truthfully answer that. He is actually a drug addicted, alcoholic, sex hungry, homophobic straight man, who hires some of the female elves to give him lotions and hand jobs and foot jobs and hip jobs and belly button jobs and nose jobs and eyeball jobs and ear jobs and leg jobs and other types of sexual antics. Santa is so fucking wasted all the time that he had one controversial mishap that the North Pole was covered up for years. In 1997 he drank 90 bottles of Bailey's Irish cream because that is Tom Servo's least favorite alcoholic trick and he passed out on top of four elves who died under the crushing weight of his massive belly. Holy shit. Who is that walking into the room? I hope it isn't Santa or the elf foreman. If they heard me exposing all this hot and zesty information to the masses, they do more than stay my bum bum. Oh, what a relief. It's just my good man and my buddy Rudolph the Red Testicle Reindeer. Hello, my good man. Hello, Ruby the Elf. It is I, your good old buddy, my buddy Rudolph the Red Testicle Reindeer. I just wanted to come here to tell all of you sexy viewers out there that me hate Ruby. Our gay lovers, we have been going steady for almost five months. He takes me on dates and I take him on dates and he shits in my face and I shit in his face and he licks my nostrils and I lick his nostrils and he fucks my bum bum and I fuck his bum bum and we do this because we are gay and we are gay because we are gay and we are gay because we are gay. A lot of you might think that I'm in love with that girl right here, Clarence, but that is a lie. She is actually a raging lesbian and likes to fuck my mommy. I I've seen them fuck before and it made me vomit up gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons of reindeer vomit. What did you do with all that vomit, Rudolph? Well, I vomited into a dumpster in the garbage can, took it away. What the fuck? Why the fuck did you do that? I'm sorry, Ruby. I was so grossed out by seeing two lesbians fuck that I didn't think about it at the time. You know I love drinking your hot and chunky cube. How could you do this? I could have drank all that yummy mouth diarrhea, but now it's gone and probably in a landfill somewhere. I'm so fucking mad at you that I could smack you in the face with my healthy penis. Holy shit. Calm the fuck down, Ruby. I could just hold it on you next time. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Well, I'm still mad, but we can work this out by having me drink your vomit another day. Well, it's a date. Hey, why don't we sing that song we made up? What? The one about being a couple of faggots? Yeah, the one about being a couple of faggots. Okie dokie, my furry faggot fuck boyfriend. We're a couple of faggots, and we love to lick dicks. What's the matter with faggots? May last our cocks will go in. We will fuck in a gay mark to us gay sexes. Art. We will sniff other men's farts. We always stick it right in. We may be different from the rest, but faggots are the best. Straight men that we should arrest. We are gay poopy ho mos up our rest goes our bros toes on our penises boys. Whoa, the cum always goes in. 
We should fix the rascal, because we are homosexual. But our rascal's a glass pool, it breaks, but it breaks the skin. We do not like the Q's C, around in our dicks get me sh she speak though you can't pronounce us C, but we'll still type it right in. We may love pooping on men's chests, sucking on men's breasts, giving gay sex is best. We're a couple of faggots, we're a couple of faggots. And the reason that we did this is because we are gay. Fuck you.